Kansas Lady D of Houston. This video <laughs> is so random. Um, I just thought I'll pop it on just to chat for a minute because I was I was watching this TV show earlier and I was actually screaming and, and talking to the TV so I figured I might as well just go ahead and pop on the camera and talk to y'all and see what y'all think. But I was watching this TV show earlier and um, tell me if you've ever experienced this before with one of your close girlfriends or your best friend. You know, as women, we have our interaction and our relationship and communication is, is so interesting sometimes. So I'm wondering, have you ever experienced this before yourself or maybe a friend of yours? But, um, and I really honestly really do want to hear what you have to say about it. You know, um, I think we have an opportunity as women to have very unique dynamics, special bonds with each other. If we allow each other to have a certain level of respect and understanding and not be judgmental when it comes to each other, regardless of anyone's situation and just respect what someone else's um, desires or expressions are. What I'm getting to, I'm going to get to my point in a second, but what I'm getting to is that I saw this show earlier on TV and I've experienced this before and I'll give you my, I'll tell you my experience in a second, but I saw this show on TV and it was two ladies, um, two best, best friends, best friend A, best friend B and, um, best friend B, there was a, a, a female that she didn't like at all. And her best friend A was, she saw her best friend A communicating with this female somewhere out there. And um, so she got mad about it. So she approached her best friend. She's like, hey, we're best friends. You know I don't like her. Why are you talking to her? Why is best friend A talking to friend C that B doesn't like? So that kind of, it, it made me think and it sparked my curiosity. Do we expect as women to kind of, and I hate to put it like this, but to have some level of control when it comes to who our best friend or maybe a very close friend elects to communicate with? I don't think that's fair. Do you? Because regardless of our friendship, our bond, it has nothing to do with anyone else. Granted, you may not like somebody, but does it give you the right to impose that dislike on someone else? Meaning also expecting them to dislike that person as well. Now you guys are completely different human beings. Who's to say that friend C did something to friend A to cause her to dislike her? Maybe it's something about friend B and C, that dynamic, it just didn't match. And sometimes that just happens. Sometimes us as women, we don't know why we don't like each other. It could be so minuscule and just so superficial. And we're so emotional. If we get our feelings hurt, then you know there's there's a there's a certain way we start to feel about a person as opposed to understanding where they may be coming from and attempting to engage in conversation about it. And I have an example. This happened to me personally, and it was in a um, job environment, and um, I won't say where. And uh, it was years and years and years ago. But when I saw this TV show earlier today, it just kind of it made me remember there was an expectation of me towards someone else that this person didn't like. So I was a manager on a unit. I was a nurse manager on a unit, and I had a co-manager. She managed a portion of the unit, and I managed the other section. It was different services, so we had a certain level of control and we had a certain amount of staff that we had to supervise of course and manage on a daily basis and one of her staff members that she managed was not performing up to their capacity so she needed to consider termination he was substandard 
for years and years and years before we even got there. So to our surprise, he was actually still there. And you know, like I said, I work in the healthcare environment, so this person was taking care of patients. So, um, you know, we conversed about it, we met about it, and we collectively, as managers on the unit, collective, collectively made the decision, okay, we're gonna have to terminate this person. We really have no other choice. I'm in full agreement with her, although it was her staff member. I support you because when you're not there, I'm the next person in line. So I have to be on the same accord. And if not, I have to give you a really good justification as why I don't feel the same way. However, I felt the exact same way. And I always wonder, what's taking us so long to let this person go? He's wreaking havoc. He's a bully. He's intimidating everybody on the floor. He barely listens to what we ask him to do. He doesn't respect authority. It's time to go like a long time ago. And he's detrimental to the staff and the patient's safety. So at any rate, so we made a decision, okay, we're going to go ahead and terminate this employee. And we started the process, which was a very, 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 very lengthy process. Now I work for the government and terminating an employee in the government is very, very, very time consuming. Although it does happen, it can happen, but you really have to have some really good justification, track record, documentation, reasons, everything. So we laid out everything we needed to do and we started that process. However, in the process, in the middle of the process, it was going okay, everything was fine. Le legally, we were supported, we were good. And so she and I, this co-manager of mine, we were one day just walking to the dining hall to have lunch together. So we were walking down the hall and the employee, the gentleman, now I never had a problem with this person. Regardless of his professional performance, I never had a problem with him personally. He liked me, I liked him. We interacted all the time. He understood the reason why we were terminating him. Of course, he wasn't happy, but him and this co-manager of mine, they fought it out like cats and dogs every day. They just did not like each other at all. I had no personal problem with him. Professionally, I needed to do what I needed to do. Personally, if he speaks to me, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to speak to him. And if you can continue to communicate with me, regardless of me in the process of terminating you, then good for you. I mean, I guess good for you and much respect for you. I'm not going to turn my back. So me and his co-manager, we were walking down the hall headed to lunch and the gentleman passed us by and he says, hey, Darlene, how you doing? Go, okay. We always spoke. Maybe not her, with her around coincidentally, but we always spoke. So I said, hey, how you doing? How's it going? Like that, because we had already transferred him to another unit. So I didn't know how he was doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I said, hey, how's it going? How are you working out up there? And he says, oh, I'm doing good. Good seeing you. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll talk to you later. So she looked at me like I had three heads. She says, what are you doing? I said, what do you mean? She says, why are you, why are you communicating with him? Why are you talking to him? Whoa. <laughs> That's what it made me realize. Wow, people actually do think that way. I said, what do you mean why am I talking to him? She says, why are you communicating with him? We're about to terminate him. We should have no interaction with him. He doesn't like me. We don't like each other. You and I are supposed to stand on one accord. It doesn't look right for me to not like him and you talk to him. I said, whoa, no. <laughs> There's a big difference in how I decide to interact and communicate with someone, regardless of how you feel about them. I said, I don't understand what you mean. Like, where are you coming from? She says, we're co-managers and I know you support me in his termination. She says, but he doesn't even talk to me. He actually hates me and he told me that. So why are you talking to him? I said, he didn't do anything to me. He always speaks to me. I don't have a problem with him. I don't have a personal issue with him. I have professional boundaries. I have personal boundaries. They don't cross because I can keep it separated. I can 
evaluate you and discipline you or whatever a manager has to do. And if you elect to still be cordial and inviting to me, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to hate you because we're in this process of letting you go and you understand and you don't hate me. You actually said, well, I was wondering what took y'all so long, <laughs> you know? So I had to sit down and, and talk to her and, and let her know that just because you don't like an individual because you guys are having problems, don't expect me to take on your feelings toward that person because I'm completely different. We have a completely different relationship. I never said, and she and I sat in the office and we talked a long time about this, but she called her husband on the telephone and we were sitting right in the office and she was telling her husband, Darlene, I don't know what's going on. She's not supporting me and she's talking to him and it's going to mess up everything. I said, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. Legally, we're still okay. But we, she and I, we had a really long talk and she really eventually understood exactly where I was coming from. She says, you know, I didn't really look at it like that. I didn't, I didn't really see it like that. I didn't see that you guys had a different relationship. She said, I just saw that you and I collectively was doing something, a task together. We were terminating an employee together. And when I saw you talking to him, I thought that was going to mess up everything. Or I thought you were negating everything that we had already done. I said, professionally, I said, you have to understand that you, that's separate. And just because you don't like a person, I'm not going to take on those feelings. And that's just not fair to that person. That's immaturity in my opinion. You know, so um, eventually we, he ended up being terminated and believe it or not, he still used to come up there and say hi to me. And, and like I said, he understood the reason behind what we had to do. And like I said before, he even said himself, well, no, it took y'all so long, <laughs> excuse me. But he never had a problem with me. He says, darling, I really understand exactly what you guys had. He said, I know you didn't want to. He says, but I know you had to. <coughs> he said, excuse me. <coughs> I'm talking too much. He said, I know you had to. He says, I don't like her for so many different reasons. I don't like her at all. He says, but I don't have a problem with you. So after she and I talked about it, she says, you know, I've never, she said, I've never even thought of it like that. She says, and I always expect it. If I didn't like somebody, if I had a friend or we were doing something together and I had a problem with it, or if I wasn't talking to someone, then I expected them to do the same way. And I told her, I said, in my opinion, that's just, that's just immaturity. And that for some reason, I don't know why I think this way. That's, that's just what women seem to do. Is it just what I think women seem to do? Do you guys think the same thing? Do you guys, have you guys ever experienced that before? And if you have, or if you're in that situation right now, and if you have a friend that doesn't like someone else or somebody you know that doesn't like someone else and you expect, um, they expect you to not like that person, although that person didn't do a hill of being thing to them. How do, I mean, what do you think about that? You know, and um, if, if you have anybody that you know who's in this situation and you want to kind of share some light and let them know that's not fair, send them this video. Just let them know. Just say, hey, take a look at this for a second and tell me what you think about it. And hopefully it'll resonate with them that well, maybe it's them. But just kind of let them peek at this and say, you know, huh, I, I kind of do the same thing and, and I wonder why. But at any rate, I'm always, you know, I'm always curious. I'm always curious and I'm always wondering why female interactions and female relationships and our dynamics toward each other, why do we do certain things? Why haven't we yet matured beyond, to me, grade school kind of stuff? You know what I mean? Why don't we just let things go? Why don't we just respect people as mature adults and understand and try, try to understand why they do some of the things that they do? Um, and the things that they do, meaning communicate with someone else that you don't like, has absolutely nothing to do with you. To me, again, it's a sign of maturity and respect for someone else's way of going about things. And it doesn't affect, especially, especially when it doesn't affect your friendship. So if you know a person 
who's like that who, or who's in that situation or if you're in that situation, you don't like someone and you have a friend and you don't want that friend to talk to that person, like why? They didn't do anything to them. And is that fair? And you don't want to strain your friendship. You don't want to have that level of control and influence over your friends. And they love and respect you so much that they may not say anything. But do you really want that level of control and influence over your friends to dictate who they should communicate with, especially if this other person did not give them a reason to not communicate with them. It's based on what you said or what your interaction is with that person. That's not fair. So I guess 2019 just really sparked my curiosity about a, a lot of things. So y'all gonna be hearing from me again if anything pops in my brain. Like I said, I was just watching TV today and I just saw the situation and it really made me reflect and think of a situation that really hit home for me as well. But at any rate, I don't know why I decided to do a video on that, but if you have someone you know, or if you're that person, just take a minute and think about, is that fair to your friend or is that fair to an individual? But this is Lady D again from Houston and I will talk to you again real soon.